Hello everyone, how are you going? And welcome to You Know You're Dating an Australian Man When. Now we've checked out all the stereotypical things that a Canadian man does, but what does an Australian man do? Because I'm sure there's going to be some similarities, but I'm sure there's going to be a particular few that Australians only will understand. <laughs> Hang on a second, I went to read the first sentence, but then it just melted my brain saying, except this Aussie to be super laid back and chilled. I mean, I guess they're just saying expect, not accept. And I guess in that regard, it definitely does matter what kind of perspective you are coming in from or what you've even just grown up with. Because if you were coming from a very, very, very laid back part of the world, I'm sure, especially going into any of the cities that you're going to find a lot of people that are going to be quite uptight in comparison. But compared to a lot of the world, like they say, you should be just fine anywhere. And then of course, in terms of the second line, if he could, he would probably wear flip flops, uh, thongs everywhere. In fact, he probably does. And to be honest, like they showed just all over the place, especially in summer at the office, at the park, and even at the pub. And to be honest, I think that the pub is going to be the main one that it's actually going to be allowed to be. And even over the park, for goodness sake, because, well, bindis are definitely a thing, especially in summer, which is when you're going to be wearing them in particular. And so you just want to be playing that balancing game very, very carefully. I think he's Australian. Are you sure? Yeah, girl, I do this for a living. Come on. I know my accents. What? What is he doing? He's coming up. Hi there, how are you doing? <laughs> I was just over there watching a the game with my mates and I uh, wanted to see if I could buy you a drink if you'd like. Oh, come on, breath! <laughs> if I could, uh, you know, maybe take you out sometime and. <laughs> so you know what? Just, just hold on a sec. All right, I'm gonna be right back. Just what are they gonna say? Just hold on. One. <laughs> What? Here we go. He is probably not the most suave gentleman out there, but he probably chummy with his nonchalant and playful spirit, and more so just the fact that he is completely distracted by whatever sport he is watching. I mean, they were playing what sounded like AFL, but really at the same time, it could be anything, especially if he's overseas, it wouldn't really make sense to be watching AFL. But by that metric, I guess it just depends what were his intentions of going out. You know, if he was just originally going out to just watch the game of whatever it is with his group of friends and just drink, I don't even know what that was. I've never seen it, so perhaps it's an American beer or wherever they are filming this either way he's certainly not drinking what i'd expect him to be drinking but at the same time he's just having loads of fun out with his mates just go ref come on that was high it was low it was held it was whatever it may be so even though you might be just dropping hints or giving him eyes or whatever it may be you might have to be a little bit more direct if his brain is just split in two like that oh, hold yeah. up hold up all right i got a surprise for you close your eyes all right all right keep going going. You're fine. You're fine. Are we there yet? Yeah, almost. <laughs> what? How did he miss that tree? Look, snake! Oh, it's a little one. Oh. Come on, just touch it. Come on. It's all right. It's all right. Come on. La, 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 la. Well, look, reading that entire thing and saying that he is probably raised to take it like a man is definitely a stereotype that a lot of the world endures. And so I wouldn't exactly say that that's only an Australian thing, but by the same metric, I do love the second line, but that doesn't stop him from taking the piss out of you. And that is absolutely true. And to be honest, I think she got off pretty light and easy just being picked up near the snake. Like, oh, come on, touch it. It's just a little one. I mean, if it's a brown snake, you probably don't want to be doing that. Maybe a red belly, it's going to be all right because it should just slither away, but just don't get too aggressive around it. But, but in the same sentence, I can quite clearly see that they are definitely not in Australia, there is no eucalypts, gums, pines, ferns, whatever it may be, there's none of it. It's just some random forest. I mean, I just have to come back to this one because I'm still bewildered as to how he did not see that tree. Look at the size of it. Honestly, it looks as though she has more vision than he does in this entire scene. And yes, his eyes are closed in this very one instance, but look at this, he very well should have been able to see it. And he's got thongs on, so I can understand if he's gonna stub his toe. Otherwise, it's just, she should have been fine from running into a tree like that. He barely stumbled into it. Let alone the fact that he just then lets her go like the walking dead out into the forest, never to be seen again 
and what happened there and what happened to the surprise and to be honest i feel as though i should also just add a bit of a note in here saying yes there were going to be a whole bundle of people that grew up really and so dealing with snakes might have been a fairly regular occurrence but anyone growing up in the city is going to be more well not even accustomed to spiders but definitely have never really seen a snake and so if you come across a snake they might not know what to do spiders they might be a little bit more let's call it numb to the entire thing where snakes can still get a lot of people off guard and so i don't know if he's going to be just picking you up and chucking into it i might be the other way around Hey, Clara. Yeah, dude. Do you want to watch the AFL? <laughs> there it is. That's AFL. That's Australian Football League. Sure. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Mitchell, the classic <laughs> commentator. <laughs> is it over? That's the first quarter. Oh, well. This one is, but um, I'll just flick over the NRL and see what's going on. Oh no. I thought we just watched it. Oh no. Well, no, 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 that was AFL. This is NRL, so it's a different game. <laughs> yeah, it's like NRL you get five tackles, for example, whereas AFL you don't really get tackles, you just kind of keep playing. Okay, keep I get it. They're different. <laughs> hey babe. Hey. You watching AFL again? No, no, cricket this time. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. It's going to be... Else. Are you almost done? Well, there's there's another two hours for today, and then uh, <laughs> today. it's it's on for another two days. Oh, it's a short one. <sighs> <laughs> wow, this poor poor woman. What are they going to possibly say about this? He loves, loves, loves his sport from AFL to NRL to NBL to cricket. The list goes on and really it does. Like I said, it could be A-League. It could be Bulls. It could be swimming. It could be running. It could be, like they said, the list truly does go on. And especially when it comes to cricket, the summers can just disappear because you get a test match and the multiple series and pff, say goodbye to virtually all day every day. I mean, I guess the only thing cricket does have going for it in that regard is the fact that it's a lot more of a worldwide sport is certainly not the Australian Football League and so by that means you might not like it but at least you might understand what's going on where AFL and NRL good luck to you especially with AFL it's just a mixture of so many different games and then NRL is just another one that uh, I guess it's rugby so if you're from the UK you're going to understand but elsewhere it might be a little bit more difficult I mean I guess you've got American football but really AFL is just going to be throwing a spanner in the works and especially like I said I thought she was going to go oh is it over yet and go no that's only the first quarter because it's played in quarters and there are so many different little nuances oh it's a goal it's a behind oh, you were just going to get immediately lost in it but I have found and heard that a lot of people do enjoy it and that is for good reason and so like I've said many a time before, Australians certainly do like their sport, especially per capita. You know, I feel as though in the USA, there's a lot of people that love sport, but from what I've heard, a lot of people love their sport. It's like they love either the NBL or the baseball or whatever it may be. Where in Australia, it's like, yeah, I just watch all of this and this and this and this and this. And because I just roll from the cricket during the day, and then I just watch A-League in the afternoon, and then I watch AFL at night, or whatever it may be, you just bounce around until the entire day's gone. Happy anniversary. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wow. Um... You got me my favorite video games. I got you your favorite game. Yeah, you did. Wow. You got me a lot of them. These these are really expensive. Thank you. Yeah, that's you're really so great. welcome. Ah, your oh, gift. No. Um, oh, no. I'm going to go get it. I definitely bought it. And it's at Jono's house. So I'm going to be about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. I'll be back. All right. I'll be here. <laughs> Can't wait. This All guy. All righty. So, got you a few things. I got you a hair comb for your beautiful, lovely hair. So just pop that in there. Perfect. I also got you this is... a chocolate bar because you're so sweet. There we go. I got you this, this guy. photo frame with a happy couple because we're really happy and they're really happy. So <laughs> no. that's something I thought of. Oh. And, of wow. course, I got you a card. Mm-hmm. Sending you lots of hugs, sending you kisses too, for no one hat. Um, Grandma. let's talk about what picture we're going to put in this photo frame, hmm? What? Happy anniversary. This is... Wow, don't expect a lot in the traditional romantic department. He might just try and half-ass it. I mean, I don't even know if it's about half-assing it or trying to half-ass it. It's just the fact that it will be half-assed due to a lack of, well 
traditional romantic development. I mean, to be fair, they do then say it doesn't mean that he isn't into you. He just shows it in a different manner. And that is just by watching the cricket and just telling you all about the rules and the statistics and everything like that. But no, really, the fact is that uh, a lot of people do certainly struggle with this. That is for sure. And I also do have to give credit where credit is due because fair enough, she looks disappointed. But otherwise, she took it like an absolute champ. Just going, you got me a muesli bar and you got me a comb that looks like it's, I don't know, 40 years old. Why did you possibly get me this thing? Not even just printing out a photo and putting it in the frame. No, you got all of these literally half ass or maybe even quarter ass things that you just whipped up out of nowhere. Like I would love to know the shop that he went to, probably just 7-Eleven or something like that and just got all of this stuff in Jono's house kind of times. But look, like I said at the start of the video, all of this stuff is just going to be perspective based on where you were coming from originally. You know, if you're doing one or the other and one just overinflated and one's underinflated, then that is going to be fine. And you just have to be working to meet in the middle because otherwise both parties are going to be disappointed. You know, he's disappointed in himself and she's disappointed in him. So I guess he certainly loses, but by the same metric, everyone feels bad about what should be a happy occasion. And I guess one of the other options people can always resort to is just having an open dialogue about how much you are willing to spend and how much you want to be spending. And it's not about how much you love the person or not it's just about being reasonable so one person doesn't go completely ballistic for no reason and just leave the other person feeling like they did nothing even though they thought about it and spent money and time working on it go ah oh, well you physically spent less so it's worth less it's like it just have an open conversation so you're someone's not spending a thousand dollars on video games compared to a hair clip Oh no. <laughs> hey boys. Hey, hey, you doing? How's it going? Good to see you, mate. Sweetie. What's up? Sweetie. This is my missus. Oh, it's G'day, uh, missus. Gaza How's and going? Smithy. <laughs> Gasser and Smithy. Oh, take a seat, boys. I'll get the barbie going. We'll no get worries. started. <laughs> what is possibly going to be wrong? So what are their actual names? Oh, well, Smithy is a uh, Smith and Gaz is, um... Gaz? You don't know his real name? <laughs> no. Uh, Oi, Gazza! <laughs> yeah, mate. What's your real name? Gazza. Um, Gaz? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> Absolutely. Oz is love shunning every word so much that you probably won't even know the real name of his close mates, and neither might he. Honestly, I know a few people that you just go, oh, what do you, oh, that just sounds wrong and weird. What do you mean your name's Andrew or whatever it may be? Like, that, that's just not what it should be. To the point where they might just not even start answering to their real name because they've just been deleted from their brain. They're not even listening for it anymore. That is how shortened and how crazy it can get. And I'm sure we're not the only country in the world that does that, but it's definitely a very broad thing in Australia. And also, if this is somehow the first time that you were hearing that Australia loves to shorten things, you should definitely not be thinking that it just stops with names of people. It definitely stops with names and places and objects, whatever it may be. There are any nouns and maybe even more can get shortened. Don't forget we have dinner with my parents tonight, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll be there, all right? Okay. Oh, all no. Right. Oh, is he just not going to show or what? Alrighty, boys. I've got a dinner with a missus tonight with the parents. A couple of quiet ones. That's it. We're not having a big night, all right? Go on, Jono. Don't be himself. a glass. A couple more chinnies won't hurt, will they? <laughs> right, <laughs> pretty? <laughs> yes. Jono? What are they possibly You're on board? Drinking? Yeah, right. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> These guys. I mean, if I'm honest, I'm not too sure how well he is supposedly sharing his time if he's just completely riding off the family dinner with the parents tonight just so he can get a couple more beers into him. I mean, by the same metric, it's definitely sharing, but it's just not a very fair ratio. Jono, don't you have a dinner to go to? Oh, no. oh shit. Did he actually forget? All right, I'll be back. I'm going to go change. Back? What do you mean be back? What is that? Oh. All right. It's true, Jono, for a banana bender, you look bloody bonza. And I is. <sighs> what? He can barely stand oh. up. Does anyone see me other thong? <laughs> uh. Jono! What is he on All right, well, for one, I'm just confused as to why he's just going to be leaving them there because from the other clip, it was supposedly he invited them over to his house and then now he's going to dinner. So I guess those guys just live there, which is fine if you just want to be sharing your flat house, whatever it may be with your friends, go for it. However, there is certainly one thing that they will definitely not share with you. And that is the fact that when you turn up to dinner either late or maybe in a less than ideal state, at the same time, they will not be sharing the wrath that is incurred either by the girlfriend or anyone else that might be involved in that. But I do just have to come back to this True, line. Jono, for a banana bender, you look bloody bonza. 
It is unreal. I have never heard, or pretty much never heard a more Australian line than that. And even just throwing in the banana bender in that. That is a very, very well, un unused one. And I also want to say underused one being from Queensland, because apparently Queenslanders spend all their time just putting bends in bananas. They don't grow that way, they just put them in. But no, look, overall, this video did a great job of just showcasing a whole bundle of different snippets of what to expect from an Australian guy. And look, maybe not every Australian guy is going to have every single one of these traits, but there is definitely going to be a trend and definitely going to be a whole bundle of shared things that you can expect and well they covered most of them.